This is an introductory talk on uh, Tao Te Ching, the science, theory, and practice from Qigong practice perspective. Yeah. Uh, this talk should be here uh, many weeks ago. Anyway, many friends ask why you kept saying that this book is about science, related to science. But if you were to look into the book carefully, and if you have an interest in modern astrophysics, you would understand the idea of how the universe started, as mentioned in Tao Te Ching, is parallel to the findings of modern physics. This is one aspect. Another very important aspect is the idea of conversion of nothing into something, or we say non-being into being, the idea of this conversion between something into nothing, nothing into something, has been proven by modern scientists. Right? James uh, C. Maxwell proposed the conversion of uh, the idea of the, pro uh, the hypothesis that information can be converted into energy 160 years ago. James Maxwell proposed this. Yeah? It was proven by Soichi Toyabe and his friends in the 2010. Uh, yeah. And this information, this report on the conversion of information into energy, you can Google and, and get it easily. Um, also, there are people like uh, William Tiller, Robert John, Patricio Tesaldi, Lynn Redin. They are scientists who have conducted many experiments, uh, rigorously designed experiments, and uh, with their reports published in peer-reviewed index journals. Yeah. Uh, William Tiller came up with a very clear idea. He said, uh, the simple, straightforward idea is that consciousness is a form of information, and information can be converted into energy. Now, we all know that energy can be converted into physical mass and vice versa, right? E equal to mc squared. But this is one very interesting point. Again, all this data, you can get it from the internet. This is the science. Theory. What theory are we talking about in this book? It is the order of nature. And why do we have to act naturally like the nature? Explanation on why. Why is, is, is so important for us to act naturally? You know? And it also bring up the idea of is acting naturally means being nice also always? You'll be surprised with what you can pick up from the book and what are the traps? What are the traps in the, the practice to stay healthy and calm? What are the traps that you're going to meet in the progress, in the process of um, progress? The book has a level of teaching that equates the Platform Sutra written by the uh, Platform Sutra of the Six Patriarch in Zen Buddhism, right? Uh, the Platform Sutra is all about enlightenment. If you were to look into this book carefully from the perspective of consciousness study, this book, Tao Te Ching, is also about enlightenment. A bit that is in a different, a slightly different perspective. Practice. The book says things like uh, how a sage lives his life, how to practice both ordinary capability and extraordinary capability. Ordinary capability means how we carry on with our daily activities. Extraordinary capability refers to the ability to pick up information directly by the brain, by the mind, without relying on the sensory organs. And how are you supposed to carry on with such capabilities? What are the things to look for? 
in your daily activities, be it uh, ordinary capability and extraordinary capability. How to progress to the ultimate level where one would act naturally. So when we talk about practice, we will be talking about all these also. This is a very interesting book. Yeah, we, uh, we have, uh, have uh, gone through five or six lectures now. And uh, join us if you're interested. Quite sure you will not be disappointed. Okay, thank you.